These are my rules for when it's time to upgrade. How do you know? Is it like every year you're supposed to buy the new GPU because that's what the, the industry wants you to do? And you would think that's what a lot of YouTubers and media people want you to do because every time something new comes out, oh my God, it's the best thing ever. Can you believe it's 3% faster than the one last year? And there's a hype cycle and a lot of people get caught up in this hype cycle and they see all the stuff that's coming out and they're like, I need that because they see it over and over and over again, but they don't stop to ask just a few specific questions that I think all of us need to be asking. This is where I've been getting my Windows keys for the last couple of years, right here on whokeys.com. The difference is this is an OEM key, so it's tied to the hardware. Don't go out and buy a retail copy of Windows because it's gonna cost you 10 to 12 times as much as this. Now, they're having a back to school special, so these prices are even lower than what you see on the screen for Windows 10 Pro. We also have Home, uh, Windows 11. We have Office 2021, 2019, and 2016 here. I always recommend grabbing a copy of Windows 10 Pro. So you get 20% off of the back to school special, but if you use my coupon code TS25, you'll get 25% off. Putting in coupon code TS25, click apply, and then watch these prices come down. Wonderful. Once you're finished, all you have to do is click on your user account up here, go to your user center, click on my purchase orders, just view keys and codes, and you can just copy and paste your key, hit start, type activate, click on activation settings, paste it in there, click on next, and you will be activated. So thanks to them for sponsoring, and now to our regularly scheduled program. Rule one, upgrading is not about the hardware. Upgrading is about two things. Upgrading is about the software and you. What are you doing with the software? Because that's really how you determine whether or not it's time to upgrade. You ask these few questions and then your answers will determine if you should upgrade and then what you should upgrade to. So let's go first off through a few different things like what do you wanna do with your system? And then what part of your system feels slow? Now, how do you know how much RAM you have, how much hard drive space you have, or how much of any of that? There's a simple little program you can download called Hardware Info. And if you just look for HW Info, you'll see this. You can click right here, download Hardware Info, and you can download Portable if you just wanna run the EXE, or you can run the installer if you plan to open it many times. So I've already got it installed here. Let me just open it up. It's kind of old school looking, as you can see. This will tell you what you have in your machine. Now this one doesn't need an upgrade because I'm happy with this, but you know, you'll be able to see your CPU here. And this way you can go online and look up the different parts. You, you're like, you see your graphics card here and how much RAM you have. And it'll tell you all the details about that. The other thing that's nice about this is it shows you uh, your temperature. So right now in this room, it is literally about 90 degrees. And in Celsius, that's like 37, 38, I don't know, somewhere 36, 37, 38, somewhere in that range. So it's very warm in this room. You got to click on the, the sensors up here on the top so that you can see all that information. And if this is just always running hot, you may need a new cooling unit. So you can really determine a lot of the things from here. But then we're going to get back to those questions we were talking about. Is it slow when you're opening up 50 tabs in Firefox? And then is it slow maybe when you're editing videos? That sounds like something that could be solved by RAM. If your computer feels very slow when you're moving files or when your games are loading, like when you're just starting up the game, it loads up, or when you're reloading from a save game and it's like, God, this takes 45 seconds. That could be because your hard drive is too slow. Now, when it comes to upgrading your M.2, there's a couple different options. These Severant Rockets, I have um, three or four of these and they're running great. Uh, the, for the price, you really can't beat it. One terabyte for $49.99. If you wanna go slightly faster than this, this is 3,200 on the read, 2,000 on the right. So really snappy. But if you wanna go a little bit faster, well, the Samsung 980, but it's more expensive by a little bit, you know, not much, 10 bucks, whatever. This one's on sale, so a little bit more expensive, but this one is kind of the industry standard. Everyone always recommends it. Um, if things are just sometimes stuttering while you're using the machine, or if, you know, it's like things don't work right, it just feels really sluggish, even though your parts are okay, that sounds like you may not have adequate cooling on either your M.2, or if you have one of those installed, or possibly your CPU and it's throttling. Maybe sometimes it just shuts off. It's like too hot, we're done. So that probably what's happening there. You might wanna look into cleaning your computer on the inside, open it up, see what the dust situation is. So like if your M.2 is overheating, I just grab one of these, put it on there, and then suddenly you'll be like, oh, my M.2 works again. My computer doesn't feel sluggish and strange. 
So that's a that's a quick solution. Same thing for your CPU. If you you know are throttling, you're going to need a bigger cooler. You might want to get um, water cooling, which I actually recommend. Um, I have been using this one for a few years. Nothing sponsored in this video. Uh, this is the Alpha Cool Ice Bar. This is the one I have, and you know I upgraded from a Corsair, which I liked, but the but the pump went bad, which is weird because the pumps are very similar. They're like the same thing. So I just got unlucky. I know there's nothing really wrong with the Corsair, but I got this one and it runs a little bit cooler and I love the price, but so I, I'm endorsed this. If you need water cooling, the Alpha Cool stuff is awesome. How do you determine if you need a better graphics card? Well, here's how I determine if my games cannot play at the resolution that I want to play, like the games that I'm currently playing, um, you know, like the majority of the games if I'm playing games and they just don't work at the resolution that I want to play them at, at around medium to medium high, then I think it's time for me to upgrade. I don't like playing games at low, but medium to medium high can be pretty good, um, especially if you turn off some of the filters. Some of those filters, they just kind of smooth out some of the edges and whatnot, but they don't improve the overall uh, look and feel of the game. I'm more about the feel, like, you know, I turn off motion blur, but I like to keep all the lighting effects and the fog and the depth of feel, but that's just my personal taste. Um, and then I don't turn up the filters all the way. And then that's when I know, okay, even with all of those compromises, is it still running, you know, like 30 FPS? So that's how I determine if, you know, if it's time to upgrade uh, my GPU. What I usually do is get either one of the best cards from last generation because you're going to get, you know, a good deal, or I get like a mid-tier card from this generation. The computer that I'm recording this on has a 3060 Ti and I play games at 1440p and I feel like I never really need more than that. Um, here and there maybe, but mostly not. I think my up next upgrade would be something like this if I needed it, but I don't. So I'm not going to I'm not going to upgrade this cycle. I'm going to wait till the you know, next cycle and see how those games play. I'm not just going to do it because hey, it's the next cycle. I'm going to wait and see like do these games work? Do I care? Am I playing mostly old DOS games, you know? But this is something I would I would look at like right in the middle the 4070. You got your RTX, you got all the fancy features, and this one is a few percent faster than a 3080. So that's probably where I would go if you wanted to drop some money and get like something to play your AAA games on high at like 1080 and 1440p and even some on 4k. Obviously if you're playing at 1080p you don't need a 4070 you're probably okay with a 3060 Ti or a 3070 then you can get those used on eBay. Totally fine to do that. The last thing I look at is usually the CPU because the CPU is not as important for gaming as a graphics card. It's not really as important for like people who do multitasking as RAM is, and it's not as important for like doing stuff with files as your M.2, but it's important for everything else, like your rendering speed when you're doing your videos or using Handbrake, just general stuff on your computer and it will improve your gaming performance. Graphics card will improve it more and quicker and faster. So let's go through a few of my options here. All right, and last, there are a couple different options here. I really like the Ryzen stuff. Now the Intel has some similar stuff. Um, a good starter place would be this. This will cover everything. But if you want the best gaming CPU, this is pretty much as good as it gets pricey and you'll do much better if you, if, you know, if you're trying to budget the budget goes into the GPU first. I think I might make another video just talking about the place you, I think your budget should go, like in the order of priority, I guess, like, you know, where, where do you, should you put this? And it's going to depend on what kind of machine you're making. But I think that's another video because people, they always just go and they like, I want the best thing, but they don't say what for, they don't say what they want to do. So really think about what you're going to do with your system. Really think about what you need for yourself. Ignore the hype cycles. Don't get caught up in gear acquisition syndrome. That's toxic. It's not good for you. It's not good for your wallet. And if you're focused on the hardware, you're doing it wrong. So again, remember rule number one, upgrading is not about hardware. It's about you and the software. All right, that's pretty much it. Also, if you're watching this right now, we're still having 30% off on all the Finnick gear, which are the mice, the keyboards, this thing. I love this thing, the, the, the um, Analog sticks are so satisfying. I'd rather use this than a PS controller or a um, an Xbox controller, believe it or not, even though it's less expensive. Now, when it comes to the D-pad, maybe I like the PS4 better, but then twice the price. So anyway, 30% off on all that, as well as the mice, 3360, flawless sensors right there, and our water-resistant keyboard, which I have right here. Coupon code is back to school. So head over to epicpants.com and grab yourself some hardware to go with whatever else you're upgrading, and I'll see you in the comments.